Hey guys, Big Sense 88 back for another review slash opinions on this fragrance from the House of Creed. Uh, as you can tell, always by the title, it is going to be Original Santal. Okay, here's a presentation of the bottle. The bottle is gorgeous. Man, I just hate how people just always interrupt me when I'm doing these videos. It drives me nuts. Anyways, um, this is Original Santal. Beautiful bottle. Has the darker red here, and it kind of fades into that really, really light red. Kind of oranges, I guess. Uh, then we got the um, silver top with the red uh, sim uh, Creed symbol right there beautiful bottle there's a sprayer right there sprayer is awesome by these creeds Psh, can't get none better in the market okay when it comes to the atomizer there's the bottle okay batch number is i believe it's hold on so2 here's the box right here okay uh, this is classified as Oriental Rich and the Creed, the made by the Perfume on this was Oliver Creed. Uh, top notes, we got Royal Indian Sandalwood, Cinnamon, Coriander, and Juniper Berry. Okay, mid, we got Lavender, Leaves of Absolute Orange Tree, Rosemary, and Ginger. And then on the base, we got Tonka Bean and Vanilla. Wow, a lot of spices in there. And yes, you do get those spices. I think with these uh, notes that they set on there, um, most of them I can get. I, I pick up on all, on most of them, which, you know, there's some fragrance out there that name a whole bunch of notes. And honestly, I can't pick up on a lot of those notes, probably because my nose isn't trained. But I do pick up on a lot of these notes that this, that this names. Uh, something a little similar to this. Uh, I don't want to talk too much about it, but there is a little similarity the only difference is that this one took that and made it into perfection with this okay is yope or jupe as uh the un i guess the uneducated on the how to pronounce that name would call it jupe anyways uh there is a little similarity there i'm not gonna lie about it uh, when I first smelled this fragrance, uh, that's kind of, there was that little, a little reminder of that, you, uh, Yope, and it reminded me of it, but this just took it to a whole new level. This took it to, uh, not loud and rude and ro too robust and in your face and just how Yope is unforgiving and it's clawing. It's not like that, man. This is really clean. This is fresh. This has, uh... A lot of those uh, spices in there and then it just calmed down by that smooth vanilla and tonka bean on the on the base I mean they did a really good job on this uh, I know there's a lot of people that don't like it but you know what I like it I like it a lot okay uh, when I got a sample of this I just had to get a bottle and uh, actually I bought this bottle a little bit, little bit used there was like I don't know maybe uh 10% right above these letters it was when I got it but I really really enjoy this fragrance I wouldn't wear it really too much in the summertime just because <clears throat> the opening is really strong and uh to be honest with you the opening kind of is a little bit of a deterrent for me but once I let this sucker dry down oh man I just I fell in love with it it was really good uh I know that there's a lot of hype with Creed but I think it it it's because Creed has that um, that that little extra mile that they give to their fragrances. I don't know if it's the Amber Chris that they put in there or something, but it's just something about most of their fragrances that when you smell it and you can and then you can have something on the side that is like a, a cheaper designer. And usually, what I'll be honest with you, I I rarely smell people in my area uh, wearing stuff that I usually wear like uh stuff that get gets hype you know stuff that is popular in the fragrance community i barely i barely get people wearing those those fragrances uh most of the time i i i smell people like wearing axe and stuff like that so i mean um <clears throat> it's 
sometimes I'm, uh, you know, I do get a lot of notice when I'm wearing fragrances, and especially when I'm wearing my creeds. Okay, when I'm wearing this, when I'm wearing this, oh, that's another review right there. Hold on for that one. Uh, the Aventis, okay, when I'm wearing all these uh, Silver Mountain Water, Virgin Island Water, whenever I wear those, people can tell and they can tell make a difference. Now, I'm not just saying it's Creed, but <clears throat> here's another one right here, Designer, excellent. This is absolutely my favorite. I'm going to do a review on this, okay, DHI, yes. Now, back to this one. Uh you do get a little bit of that yolk vibe in there, but it's just a masterpiece of it. It's not so loud and so sweet. It has a lot of that spice in there, and uh, sandalwood just makes it, like, nice and creamy. And, uh, I mean, it's it's really good fragrance. Longevity, I get eight-plus hours, okay? Uh, uh, projection, at within the first four hours, I get about five feet. After that, every hour, it goes down a foot. Okay, um, so uh, I think this is definitely worth a try. Uh, these things are sold from one ounce to 17 ounces between 175 to 710 bucks, the standard Creed price uh, for a lot of their fragrances. And uh, uh, I think that if you like Yope, if you like that fragrance, you should definitely give this a try. Honestly, I don't even wear Yop anymore. I just have it here because I don't want to throw the bottle away. I feel like throwing a bottle away of, of a fragrance is just, you know, terrible. I don't know. Maybe I'll swap it out or something. But just because it's too loud and in my face, I, I, it's too clawing now. I can't do it. And I live in Florida, so it's hot. So, I mean, a lot of fragrances that are, like, loud and, and uh, clawing and in your face, like, like uh, Yop. I can't do it uh, or I can but I just don't want to do it anymore just because I'm kind of I don't want to okay sorry or not okay now I think you should definitely give this a try I think that um, this fragrance right here might turn uh, if you've heard a lot of negativity about it about how it it um, Oh, if you, it, what, what's the point of paying this if you can get yoke for, what, 30, 20, 30 bucks? No. This right here, I think that this is really, uh, I don't know if it's, I don't, I don't know if it's worth the whole 350 but if you're getting it online at a discounted rate, at a discounted price, I think it's definitely worth it, man. It, you, you, for springtime or fall, I think, I think fall would probably be really good on this fall and autumn uh good for this really good for this um even winter time you know the only thing is you know my winter uh on a really cold day i'm looking at like i don't know 40 degrees so that's about as cold as maybe sometimes very rarely once a year it'll dip down in the 30s but i really you know maybe once every couple years so my winter may not be the same as you guys out there that are, you know, knee knee deep in snow or whatever. But um, I really enjoy it. And um, I really think that anybody who is interested in go getting into creeds, uh, into niche fragrances, this would definitely be one that you might want to get a sample of to start off with. Okay. And... Uh, that's it, guys. That's my review on this one. If you guys have any suggestions of anything else you want me to do, please uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, really, try not to uh, message me on um, on uh, like the Google Messenger because stuff is 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 really weird. If you actually leave a comment down below, I'll get the email and I'll probably respond to it right away. All right, guys. You take care. Have a great day. And I'll see you next time.